Thank you so much, everybody. And I'd just like um, to just thank all of the delegates in the room who made sure that they went out and, and voted for both me and Anna. I mean, we, we just had a look at the result and combined we got around 70% of the vote, which is amazing. a couple of days ago we were really I mean I was personally quite concerned because of the way that the ballot works it was about who got to the ballot paper first and whether there was a, a mixed delegation and whether um, members of the delegation were going to vote as mandated by their CLPs so we I, I was not you know kind of strongly confident that we were definitely going to win but I think it's really really important especially following the the result that Seema um, um, here who who's sitting next to me had in terms of the CAC is the amount of work that we've put in to making sure that we, we, we start the, the, the long road to democratising our party. And I think actually this year, I mean, I don't know how many of you have been to conference in previous years, but it's been absolutely amazing. I mean, the, 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 no, the number of delegates that have come this year, I don't know if any of you were here in previous years, you know, we've literally taken conference back from the sharp suit brigade, from the lobbyists. They, there's no space for them this year in the hall. You know, and, and it's really, really amazing to actually sit up there in the balcony, whereas in previous years, if you got a balcony pass, because most of the hall was empty, actually, well, there wasn't that many delegates there. You could just walk in and out and sit wherever you wanted. This year, you can't do that. It's absolutely packed with delegates. We've got people running forward, wanting to speak on motions. And this is what conference should be all about. And we want to see that go even further in future years in terms of the role of conference in, in defining party policy. And I just think I'm... I'm you know, one of those people who've been coming to conference every year for, I think, at least the last seven or eight years. And, and it was often actually quite soul-destroying, you know, when you, when, when you walk around and it was, it was just completely full of lobbyists. And you really felt, God, is this, is this the Labour Party? And we've just, over the last couple of years, this year, we've really seen that marked difference. And it really felt like a political party conference. Sorry, oh, is that working? Yes, and, and, and I just think it's, it's just been amazing. It's just been absolutely wonderful. And, um, you know, we've got so many fringes and what's, what's been put on by the World Transformed. I don't know if any of you have um, been along to those meetings, but it's been absolutely amazing. You know, we've gone from strength to strength. And I think it's really important we, we, we start on this long process to kind of throwing open the doors of our party, to making it about the members, to making it about, you know, bringing that breath of fresh air in that we've been so desperate for so many years. And I think, um, you know, and, and I said this recently, um, uh, I just think that party members want to be part of the decision-making process. We don't want to be treated as foot soldiers. And a, an important part of that, and what I will take away now that I've been elected onto the National Constitutional Committee, is taking very seriously the, the processes around, around disciplinary actually ensuring that it seemed to be fair actually because you know ultimately you know we, we do have to have processes in within the party where we deal with those issues but party members need to feel confident that it's been dealt with fairly and that there is that there is a fair balance in representation on on these quite important committees and i think for me uh, this year has just been absolutely amazing and uh, and i think I, I just want to put an important shout out to processes that are going on within uh, within regional boards as well because i'm also like um claire pointed out a member of london regional board and you know we deal with sometimes we deal with membership appeals they get sent down to the regions and i just want to encourage people you know, when, when, you're, when you're having those issues locally, please send them through to us. We don't control, the, um, I mean, the balance at, at the moment on all of the regional boards, but the, we, we can speak up and we can raise the issues and we have to ensure 
that we don't let the um, the kind of uh, previous processes that were in place where you know a lot of the selections that are going on in London for a lot of people they feel like they're being stitched up and actually if you don't come to us if you don't raise those issues with us I mean we've seen across London where you know people are people are standing to be selected as councillors and they feel that um, for example, there, there have been boroughs where the amount of people that have been knocked back by the panels actually means that there isn't enough candidates to put, put forward in, 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 the, in, the, um, in, in the local elections. And I just think, and also some of the um, way that some of the decisions are being made as well, it's not clear, it's not standard, and we're seeing different practices in different boroughs, and that's not fair. So if you're experiencing those issues, please get in contact with us. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, Eve.